we are at the CSUN Assistive Tech uh, Conference, and this is our first interview in three years. And uh, Ken Bradley from Eschenbach Optic has agreed to be our guinea pig. See if we can get back in the saddle here. Hi, hi Ken. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming to visit today. So my mother uh, was uh, visually impaired and had uh, one of the original VTEX, and it wow. was, uh, I think it was a CRT probably, yeah. and it weighed about 11,000 pounds, and it had, was real low resolution, and not, it was probably black and white, if I remember correctly. But it looks like Eschenbach Optic has come a long ways uh, in actually the ability to maybe take your display with you, your, your reader. It, why don't you explain first to the audience what this kind of device does? Well, this is uh, an example of a video magnifier, and what video magnifiers do are really really uh, provide the end user with the ability to benefit from magnification, which is a very common therapy that's employed for anybody that has especially central field loss, eye diseases or conditions. Uh, so this isn't, uh, just for those who are only listening, this isn't a magnifying glass. This is a display with a camera that shoots right. down at what you want to magnify? It's a closed circuit video system. So it has a camera, it has a, a processor, it has a display system, and the combination of those things working together are now these days allow, are capable of providing a uh, high definition image for the user to benefit from at a wide range of magnification levels, well in excess of what historically has been available, especially through optical products, which is also an important part of our product line. And as you had mentioned, you know, the older units were big and cumbersome, and one of the themes that we're seeing now in, in device design uh, is portability and the ability to transport uh, simply, easily, and use them in multiple locations without having to duplicate the investment in technology. So this is just the latest example from Eschenbach. It's a, it's a 22-inch uh, foldable. It's the only foldable desktop video magnifier with a 22-inch monitor. Uh, and, and as I said immediately, when I looked at it, the, the display isn't foldable. The unit is foldable, unit so you can carry foldable. it. Absolutely. So the display in the unit, as opposed to the early VTEX and uh, <laughs> other types from... Uh, maybe the first part of this century. Uh, these are all integrated units where the display, the camera, the table base are all together in one product. Uh, they're not separate components. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is the, our latest uh, offering. It was introduced about three months ago. It's been very popular uh, and uh, it's... So so Ken uh, demonstrated how to fold it, and I said, you know, for the real comedy, I want him to walk me through how to do it. Now, I did do a test run, but I'm, I'm sure I'm still going to mess it up. So why don't you walk me through what I'm doing? Well, Allison, you're a pro. You did a great job on the trial run, and uh, let's do it again on camera. How does that sound? All right. Sounds good. Okay. What do I do first? Okay. Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn off the unit. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make the display as if it were a table. So you're going to tilt it backwards. It's a tiltable display. You're going to lift it up a little bit. Oops, sorry. Oh, we didn't do the camera. Didn't first. do the camera. So I let's do the camera. The camera so, so we're going to tilt the camera back, and then we're just going to fold the lens cover over the camera. Okay. Now we're going to make a table out of it. Yeah, you missed a step there. Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I've got it like a table. Now you've got it like a table. And, and for those who are watching the video, you see there were two red buttons, and these are the red buttons that you use to help collapse this device so that it's easily storable or transportable. So you're going to push that first button, and you're going to push that monitor all the way underneath until it is really parallel with that upright arm. You can't break it. Don't worry. I feel like I'm going to. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Now there's one more button at the back. You're going to push that other red button and you're going to collapse it down. There you go. Perfect. Now and I notice there's a handle at the back. There is. There's an integrated handle at the back which makes it easier for somebody to actually be able to transport it around. Now it's not a... Can I lift it? You can. It's 22 pounds. It's not, um, it is not a portable device in that somebody's going to carry it with them in their bag when they go shopping. But the idea is that it's transportable, so that if you've got somebody who's a snowbird who goes away for the winter or has a weekend home or simply would like to collapse it and get it out of the way when they have a dinner party, oh, that's okay. You're, you're going to be fine. Okay, I just it, just opened up, it just opened up a little bit. So you can, there you go, great. Maybe I should have locked it in position. That, that's quite all right. Probably gave you bad advice. <laughs> I missed one of the trainings. <laughs> But so it's a good thing I'm good at weightlifting, right? Yep, absolutely. So here, there you go. So that's pretty cool. I can see what you mean by it would be, you wouldn't do it every day probably. I mean, I, I suppose you could. It's all about how you, you know, uh, what locations do you wish to use your magnification solution in and for what length of time you want to do it. So for instance, if you are using this vocationally, 
it's going to be probably set up in your workspace the entire day. And then whether or not you want to, you know, reuse that workspace for something else, you'll pack it up and set it out of the way. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see folding it up and setting it out of the way. Yeah. I would need a hand card, I think, if I was going to carry it every day. P potentially. Little, little rolly suitcase or something. And, and, and we have those as well. Oh, very good, very good. So if somebody was interested in this product, where would they go, Ken? Uh, they would go, they could contact us uh, via our website, www.eschenbach.com, or they can go to any of their uh, eye care professionals and simply mention that they saw a video magnifier from Eschenbach and they'll be able to get information there. And is this, is it, what model is this? This is the Vario Digital 22, and I just want to point out that there is a 16-inch version, which is certainly a little more lightweight and a little easier to get around for those that, you know, aren't weightlifters, let's say. This is very good. I'm, I'm excited about the improvements in this technology. I know it was amazing. Uh, for my mother 30, 40 years ago, but uh, I, I'm glad to see it's continuing to improve. Thank you Great. very much, Ken. Well, thanks for coming by. Pleasure speaking with you.